Hello, today I'm going to be showing you many of the ways that you can use trash bags on the trail. Trash bags are probably the number one thing that we counselors love to bring with us on the trail, and you should too. This is my cat, he might be joining us today. His name is Critter. So if you're going camping, um, it's probably gonna rain. And even if it doesn't rain, um, what if you drop your bag in a stream or the morning dew covers your bag um, or you roll outside of the tent or the tarp um, and, and your bag gets wet. So the first thing we wanna do when we're going backpacking is we don't wanna just put our sleeping bag in our stuff sack. Um, we want to line it with a trash bag or two. Typically, you want to do two, but today I'm just going to use one to show you how to do it. So, first step take your trash bag and open it up. Take your trash bag and take your stuff sack and put the trash bag in the stuff sack. The next part is crucial. The next part is making sure that we don't have any air trapped in here because if there's air trapped in here, one, it could pop if it's pressed up against any sharp object, but also you want to bring them in your pack for your clothes, for food, um, for your mess kit, um, maybe anything else that you're taking, like a flashlight, sunscreen, blood spray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bunch up the trash bag at the top and I'm gonna hold it like, like a garden hose. Right, and you know how when you, if you've ever watered your plants, um, you can close it off all the way, or you can close it just a little bit so that you can control the flow of the water. Um, and I'm gonna close it just enough so that when I press on my sleeping bag, the air can escape, okay? You might have been able to hear that air release. So now, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot more empty room at the top of my stuff sack. And I'm gonna do that one more time. There we go. So my bag is vacuum sealed. I've got a little extra room up here in my soft sack. Um, and now I'm just gonna twist. Okay, so now that I've twisted it a couple times, you can see that there's this part of the bag that's twisted nice and tight. You don't wanna tie a knot, because typically if you tie a knot, it's hard to undo and you have to rip the bag while you're on the trail. And that means that you can't get your sleeping bag back in the trash bag um, without getting a new bag. And we wanna not make any waste from our trail. So now that I have this nice um, stick, it's a stick, um, it should want to wrap around quite easily. You see that? Okay, so you can just tuck it under and typically it should stick. And then now what you do is you just take your stuff sack and you pull it tight and you're good. All right, so let's say you've been hiking all day, you just got to camp um, and your counselor said, all right, go set up your stuff. And so you have your sleeping bag um, nicely in a stuff sack with the trash bag. Um, so you're gonna just take it out. And hmm, the ground is a little bit wet. You know, it, it rained last night, um, and you, you have your sleeping pad, but you're still a little worried that it'll, you know, you might roll off your, your mat at night, or um, maybe it'll rain again. So, after I have my sleeping bag out, I'm gonna set up my pad as well. And then I'm gonna put my sleeping bag down. That's all you need, right? But I'm gonna be super careful. In case it rains tonight and my sleeping bag falls off, I'm gonna take the bag and I'm gonna put it in my sleeping bag in there. So that if I kick in my sleep and it falls off the mat this way or it falls off the mat that way, my feet won't get wet and I won't have a wet sleeping bag. Alternatively, what you could do is you could take your trash bag and you can put it on the ground and then you can put the bottom of your sleeping pad over it like so, so that if your sleeping bag falls off, it lands in the trash bag. I'm gonna pack my clothes similarly to the way that I pack my sleeping bag. 
Um, and it doesn't really matter what order you put the clothes in because um, they don't really end up on the bottom or top because you don't have a lot of clothes in your bag or anything. So I'm just gonna toss it in there. My pants, my underwear, super important to bring an extra change of underwear. My shirt and two pairs of wool socks because you always have to have wool socks and these feet get wet and I like to bring two because what if I got a hole in one? Okay, so I have my clothes. And again, I'm gonna use the same technique where I get all of the air out. First, I'll put all the clothes into one corner of the bag. I'll gather up the excess. And you see how there's air in here? Um, I'm gonna squeeze that out. Pressing it against the floor or against your body is a really good way to get the air out. Okay, so now I have my vacuum sealed clothes and just like I did with the saving bag, we're gonna twist it. Now, the super cool thing that we can do with clothes that we can't really do with the sleeping bag is we can double bag this using the same bag. I'm gonna show you how that's done. So if you wanna double bag it, after a couple of twists, you're gonna take the bag and you're gonna turn it inside out to so put it back over your clothes. And then do the same thing again where you, you squeeze it and you get the air out of it. So you have your double layer vacuum seal bag. You're gonna twist it. So you've got the, the, the tighter strand hanging off of it. And just like before, you're gonna loop around. You can tuck this tail underneath the wound part. Okay, your clothes are done. You're ready to go back. So I'm gonna show you a few ways you can use trash bags to protect yourself and or your wet shoes. So um, I just have this, this bag on the floor to protect my floor from the mud that's on my boots. Uh, it has nothing to do with any tip. So let's say you know it's gonna rain and you don't have room under your tarp for your hiking boots or maybe you do but they smell really bad um, and your unit is like absolutely not, you cannot have this under the tarp, or maybe your counselors are like, absolutely not, they smell too bad. So what you can do, if you have an extra trash bag, is you can simply cover them. And instead of just covering them, you can kind of tuck them in. So you put it underneath. This also prevents spiders from getting in your boots. And you would do this all the way around. Now, this is assuming that there's enough space so let's say you made the mistake of leaving your boots out overnight and they're wet. And in the morning, you really don't want to put your feet in wet boots. Or maybe it didn't rain, but they were wet yesterday and they didn't dry overnight because it was cold. Simple. You can take a trash bag, like so. And assuming I'm wearing socks because you don't want to go hiking without socks, but we're going to pretend I have socks on. I'm going to wrap my foot in this trash bag. I don't know my shoe on. And you'll have to get creative to make sure that you're not carrying a trash bag around all day. Maybe stuff it back in your shoe, maybe tuck it in your sock, but that can keep your foot from getting wet from your wet boot. All right, so why am I dressed like this? Good question. So some people have what's called a pack cover and it's typically like a little plastic bag looking thing that you can just put over your pack when it rains. Um, let's say it's pouring and your stuff is mostly covered in your pack like we taught you to do with your sleeping bag and your clothes, but you don't want your pack to get mildewy. So you're like, you know what? I have an extra trash bag. So what you can do is you can put the trash bag over both yourself and your pack. And as you can see, it covers most of your pack. Now my pack right now is empty. But if you have a large enough trash bag, it doesn't matter, it'll cover your pack. And my arms, it's really tight in here, so I can poke holes in the sides and do it that way. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now because um, I think it's really fun to have dinosaur arms. Hello, as you can see, I'm wearing my trash bag as poncho because what happens if it rains? I'm gonna show you. I'm about to turn on my shower and get wet 
but I know that my trusted, trusted trash bag will keep my head and my shirt clean. Maybe not my pants, but typically your pants get wet when it rains anyway. See, perfectly fine. All right, one last thing. Trash bags can also be used for trash. So you try not to have too many food scraps on the trails, but sometimes it's inevitable. Sometimes it's inevitable. Often you'll have compost, so like maybe the tops of an onion or the tops of a pepper that your counselors used to cook, um, and you'll have to put it in a bag. Um, typically we don't use bags this big because if you put a whole bag like this up with trash, it'd be really heavy and one person's pack would smell really bad. However, sometimes you just don't have enough um, Ziploc bags um, or small plastic bags. So you can just put your, your smelly or leaking um, food scraps in here. Do the same thing with, with the clothes where you make the bag of air, push it all out, and then it fits like a small little bit in your pack. And those are all the uses for garbage bags.